This is the SF Productions Podcast Network. It's Oscar Cleanup and Googling with the Stars. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. You can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Way to Read Comics on iTunes, or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. So we recently gave our Oscar predictions. Yes. So and how, that was based on not watching any of the Exactly. Movies. That's our role. Yeah. <laughs> it's all based on hype. So uh, how'd we do? Well, in supporting actress, uh, we both picked we uh, agreed Arquette, and, yeah. and she was the winner. Mm-hmm. In supporting actor, we both went with uh, J.K. Simmons. He was the winner. Mm-hmm. In animated feature... Uh, we both went with How to Train Your Dragon 2, and it was Big Hero 6. And it should have been the Lego movie. And it should have been the Lego movie. Original song, I picked Glory. And I picked Everything is Awesome, because I wanted the Lego movie to win something. Right. Un- unfortunately, it was Glory. Because they had to give something to Selma. Exactly. And uh, director, uh, we both picked Linklater, and it was Inaritu mm-hmm. for was Birdman. the big winner for the night. Exactly. Actress, we both picked Julianne Moore, and it was, in fact, Julianne Moore. Mm-hmm. Uh, in actor, I picked Eddie Redmayne, and you picked Michael Keaton. Keaton. The only award that uh, that Birdman didn't win. Right. You know? Exactly. <laughs> and it was, in fact, Redmayne. Uh, so uh, the final total was five to three, and I won right. that one. So the other categories that we didn't mention were ones that neither one of us picked right. Right. So Yeah. Okay, so meanwhile, the cast of the next season of Dancing with the Stars was announced. I thought we were hitting the bottom of the barrel before. I literally had to Google some of these celebrities well, to find out who they were. I think six out of the the 11 that they actually announced were ones that I knew who they were. That was about what I had. Because one of them they didn't announce. I, I like the dancing and everything, but at this point, I'm not watching it for these stars no. at all. No, you're watching it for the pros. For, for the pros, and, you know, it's like I could skip through all the, you know, horrible <laughs> dancing by the, the uh, <laughs> stars. <laughs> now... Um, we've discussed this before, but the show has come up pretty much with several check boxes for their casting. There's athletes. There's Disney stars, which is Synergy with ABC. There's an ABC soap star, also in Synergy. Mm-hmm. There's reality show stars. Mm-hmm. There's a controversial star. There's a comeback star for nostalgia purposes. And one or more ringers. Mm-hmm. Ones who are actually professional dancers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that may not be what they're best known for, but they are professional yes. dancers. And, and we have a new category, Disabled. Yes. <laughs> now, a few pros didn't actually return this season. Cheryl Burke, after 18 seasons, did not come back. Yeah, I think she was tired of getting stuck with the uh, yeah. people who had no chance no of chance. winning. And Karina Smirnoff who was on seasons 3 through 9 and then 11 through 19. Yes. So, almost as long. Mm-hmm. And one pro returned that shouldn't have. I thought we finally got rid of Derek Huff. <laughs> you know, it, it just seems to me he said he wasn't going to come back. Right. And at this point, really, he has more fans than anybody else. And he's won more times because they always give him the good dancer. Right. Right. The ringer. And I suspect some of the other pros only signed up because Derek Huff wasn't going to be there. And now they're kind of screwed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So let's go our, go through the predictions on how far each team is actually going to go. We start with Noah Galloway, uh, t- teamed up with pro Sharna Burgess. Mm-hmm. He's known for being a disabled vet and a motiva- motivational speaker. I think based on the fact that he has a compelling storyline, <laughs> um, we both put him very high. Uh, I put him in the second slot, so the runner-up position. Mm -hmm. And I said the third slot. And uh, mainly that's because of the two people that I put ahead of him. Okay. Robert Herjavec, uh, who is partnered with Kim Johnson, who's coming back to the show. She would actually, she went off to be a uh, one of the judges for the Australian version of the show. And now she's back. Uh, Known for Shark Tank. So Mm -hmm. he's one of the sharks. Yes. Um... We both considered them them pretty low in the set. Uh, yeah. Um, you picked them dead last. Dead last. And yeah. I picked them number ten. Yeah. 
Um, I just think he probably has too much other stuff to keep him busy that he won't, you know, right, really dedicate himself. Dedicate himself right. I don't know. Next is Patty LaBelle and his uh, and her uh, partner Artem Chignisev. I'm gonna give it Chign- that. Yeah, I don't something know. like that. Artem. Artem. Uh, Who's actually very? I, I liked him on previous season. Mm-hmm. You know. So uh, of course she's known for being a singer. Mm-hmm. Um, we kind of. Uh, Flopped, flip flopped on this. Mm-hmm. I put her dead last. Yes. And you put her in tenth slot. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I put her dead dead last because I think she may be a little too old for the competition. But you're. But we've uh, been fooled by, by that, that before. before. Yes. And you know, if she's still doing performances, she's got to have some. Um, she's got musicality. She's got to have some kind of stamina to do performances. Right. So I think that she should be able to make it through at least a couple weeks. Right. But I do think her age will catch up with her. And she's, of course, one of the comebacks. Yes. In, 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 in that checkbox. Nastia Lukin, whose pro, uh, whose pro is Derek Huff. Mm-hmm. She's an Olympic gymnast. <laughs> so, of course, she's going to win. Yeah, because the floor routine in gymnastics is dancing. Yes. <laughs> She's a dancer. Yeah. Plus, she will train very hard because she's an Olympian. Mm-hmm. Plus, the Derek factor. So, the only thing that could throw a wrench into this is if, if she gets injured. If she gets injured. Unless she gets injured, that's yeah. that's your pretty much mortal lock yeah. on the winner right there. Mm-hmm. And we both, that's what we're guessing. Riker Lynch, whose pro is Allison Holker. And he's known for being a singer. He's known for Glee. And he's known for being in a Disney show. So there's the Disney Synergy checkbox there. Mm-hmm. And if you go and look at his Wikipedia page, he's an American singer, songwriter, musician, actor, and dancer. And <laughs> he's, Ringer. he's a cousin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way. To the Huffs. Yeah. Derek and uh, yeah. Julianne. Julianne. Yeah. So that's why I put him at number two. Because he has all this background. To me, he's like the male ringer for this show. Mm. Plus, he's got that, you know, people will like him because he's a huff, you know? Yep. I I put him a little lower at number four. We then have Charlotte McKinney, whose pro is Kiro Mosepi. And she's a model. She's best known for the most recent Super Bowl ad for Carl's Jr. Yeah. Um... I put her pretty low at number nine. You put her in the middle of the pack, number six. Six, yeah. I just don't think she will train all that well. That well. Well, we'll she see. might not have anything else to do. That's true. <laughs> hmm, you got a point. We then have Red Fu, and uh, his he was pro- a guest judge. Yeah, his uh, his pro is Emma Slater. Um, He's known for, as far as I'm concerned, being a one-hit wonder. Mm-hmm. And so uh, I put him somewhere in the middle of the pack at number 8, and you put him farther down at yeah, number 11. Yeah, at number 11. Now, I think the first week he'll get carried through just on the fact that he was a guest judge. Right. But I think after that he'll get eliminated. But I'm thinking Emma Slater is getting a bit of a following as well, and that's why mm. I put I put him a little higher. Okay. Basically, she would carry him through a little later mm-hmm. in the competition. Michael Sam whose uh, pro is Peter Murgatroyd. He's the first openly gay NFL player. Um, we put him pretty high because athlete. Uh, he's an athlete. Now, we've been fooled by football players before. Right. They either they either flame out immediately or they do very well. Yeah. They rarely are in the middle. Yeah. Uh, and so we both put but him... But we like Peta. Right. Yeah, and I think she has a, a, a following as well. So put him pretty high. Put him at third, third place. And I went fourth, yeah. Willow Shields, whose partner is Mark Ballas. She's known for the Hunger Games and is 14 years old. Mm-hmm. Inappropriate musical number for Mark Ballas in three, two, one. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know that's going to happen, and it happened very early. <laughs> and, you know, I think, depending upon the judges, that that could eliminate her fairly quickly. I, I think that... And I think, rightly, they should be fairly uncomfortable seeing a 14-year-old dancing with what is effectively a middle-aged man yes. in inappropriate attire. Yes. And <laughs> in romantic dances. In romantic dances. <laughs> I, I don't think this is a good idea at all. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm giving her a little bit more of the benefit of the doubt. I said fifth, and you said eighth. Yes. Suzanne Summers, whose pro is Tony Davalani, best known, of course, for Three's Company, another mm-hmm. one of the comebacks. Um, 
I don't think uh, she'll do very well. I put her in 11th place. And I said 9th. I think, you know, she did for a while have some fitness stuff going on. You but know, whether but she's kept up with that, yeah, who knows. Uh, but yeah. there's a nostalgia but factor there. a nostalgia there. factor and Tony. Yeah. Yep. So. Rumor Willis, whose pro is Val Chmierkowski, mm -hmm. basically known for having famous parents. Yes. <laughs> Uh, we put her right in the middle, seventh and fifth place. And yes. basically, the only reason she's there is so they're hoping that Bruce and or Demi will be in, in the, the audience. audience. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's, <laughs> that's the it. only yeah. reason she's there. Mm -hmm. And then there's the wild card. Whitney Carson, the pro, is, has a partner who's unknown. Because he couldn't rose to the, oh, I mean, rise. I, yeah, yeah. When they announced it, it made it pretty clear it's going to be the, the winner, from, The Bachelor. Well, it's <laughs> the, the Bachelor, bachelor The Bachelor guy, guy. Yes. yeah. Uh -huh. And so he's best known for The Bachelor. <laughs> yeah, I would assume that's what it is. Now, um, I, I think it's probably the current Bachelor, not one of the previous ones, right. just because he couldn't be there. But they've left their options open there, haven't they? Yes, they certainly have. Um, although it does have to be a man. Right. But Yeah, but this... But the Disney synergy, Disney ABC synergy says it's going to be the current Bachelor. Yes. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> they've done this before. They just yeah. slide them right off, like, immediately, mm -hmm. like, the last episode and on to this. Yes. Just continue on in the reality shows. Mm -hmm. I, I put him middle of the pack. <laughs> he, you know. <laughs> but, again, it's Lucan, unless she gets hurt. Yes. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see mm -hmm. how, how that's uh, otherwise. and. They really need to move. Derek needs to become a judge mm -hmm. or move from the show entirely. Yes. And he's going to be flying back and forth yes. from New York to California weekly because, both he's, of them. because he's doing choreography for something. Right, but, right? but, but they're both, both going to train in yeah. New York. Mm -hmm. So they're going to fly for like one day a week to go and do the show and then come back because yeah, they're both in New York. So, you know, that could be a wearing factor, but I don't think I doubt it. I don't think I really so. doubt it. But, you know, we'll be watching, dancing, mm -hmm. and maybe even updating you on it here. Right. <laughs> so you don't have to watch. <laughs> <sighs> and maybe if you don't watch, then we won't, you know, no, no. But you can check out our audio podcast, How I Got My Wife to Read Comics, on iTunes or on our website, sfpodcastnetwork.com. From the Pop Culture Bunker, I'm Mindy. And I'm Mark. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye-bye.